Calculus Lesson 4, Methods of Differentiation. Now, finding the, the gradient of a tangent, that process is called differentiation. And you might have thought that that's rather a long, sort of tedious method, and you're absolutely right. There is a much faster way of doing it, and I'm going to show you that in this lesson. Now, so we take the first case, say, function x equals bx plus c. Now, this is a linear function. And it's absolutely not necessary to apply the calculus to work out the gradient of a tangent there. We just simply write down that f dash x is equal to b, which is the, the gradient, because this is a linear function. It's only when we have curves that we need, we need to apply the calculus. Now we take the um, next example. I'm going to have the function of x is equal to ax squared. Now, find the calculus, function x plus h. Okay, putting in x plus h for the x. And squaring that all out gives me ax squared plus 2axh plus ah squared. Now, function x plus h minus function x is going to be these ax squareds will cancel out and you get 2axh plus ah squared. Then dividing it by h, if you call the formula, that gives me this. And dividing each term by h, we get 2ax plus ah in h. Now, so f dash x in this case is equal to the limit as h goes towards 0 of 2ax plus ah, which of course is 2ax. Okay, now let's look at the function ax cubed. Using the calculus again, we see that um, function x plus h is equal to a outside of x plus h all cubed. Now I'll just, using Pascal's triangle, I'll just write this x cubed plus 3x squared h plus 3x h squared plus h cubed and multiplying through that by the a we get a x cubed plus 3a I put the h to the front h x squared plus 3a h squared x plus a h cubed same sort of thing we go f x plus h minus function x. This will go out with this one, and we get 3ah x squared plus 3ah squared x plus ah cubed. And then divide by h, divide by h, and this becomes 3a x squared plus 3a h x plus a h squared. So f dash x is equal to the limit as h goes towards 0 of 3a x squared plus 3a h x plus a h squared. This will be zero, this will be zero, and you get the result 3a x squared. All right, well this leaves us for the result that if function x equals ax squared, then its derivative, f dash x equals 2ax, and if function x equals ax cubed, then its derivative is 3ax squared. Now, we could go ahead and do it again, but let me just write down what the result is. I'll 
if you want to go to that, that process, it's a, of expanding out that power four, please do so, but you'll find you'll get this result. Okay, the four, see the three sits down the front, so it'll be four, A, and you'll take one off the power. And that's a pretty simple little rule to remember, isn't it? And so this will keep on going, and finally the general result is the function x equals a x to the n, then f dash x is equal to n a x to the n minus 1. Now this also uh, works if you've got um, a chain of these things, so you might have say function x equals um, a x cubed plus b x squared plus c x plus d. And term by term we get f dash x is equal to be 3a x squared plus 2b x and this is the linear one so just a c and of course that'll go out as a, as, a, as a constant and if you think about that if you, if you draw the line function x equals d uh, it'll be completely flat so it'll have no, no gradient and uh, on you go and so on it also works with indices which are not whole numbers use fractions and negative numbers and we'll do some more exercises with those all right i've put up uh, three little questions to you have a go at um, just pause the video have a go at it and then see you go with it okay that all right now the first one f dash x equals now the three comes down and sits in front but we'll multiply those two together so three times two is six reduce the power x squared and of course the coefficient of this one is one and this one here f dash x equals now the four goes down four times six is 24 reduce the power don't forget to do that three comes down the front three times one is three plus three reduce the power squared this is just a five and the last one f dash x equals the five comes down 10 take off the power four minus three x squared plus two comes down two times seven 14 14 x so it's a pretty simple little process isn't it